this part about uh, unilateral hemithorax difference, either hyperlucent uh, uh, unilateral uh, hemithorax or uh, opaque hemithorax. Tomorrow, uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Amna, tomorrow is Saturday. Uh, I am uh, working in a uh, private uh, ultrasound clinic for about 12 hours. Okay, <laughs> no time tomorrow. <laughs> Just a Friday uh, is my rest. Even uh, I have a private course from 6 to uh, 8 uh, p.m. So, inshallah, we will meet next Friday. Next Friday, pediatric session. Okay, let's continue this session. Can you uh, continue your boss? Yes. Okay. I'm presented with radiograph chest, frontal projection of an immature skeleton in which I can see that there is complete opacification of left hemithorax. I can appreciate that the right uh, lung is clear and it is well aerated. The midline air, the airway is midline. It is not deviated towards the left side. Uh, the cardiac shadow is obscured and the right diaphragmatic outlines are clear. However, the left diaphragm is obscured. The visualized points are unremarkable. So complete opacification of the left hemithorax uh, without any definite mediastinal shift. It uh, could be because of uh, large pleural effusion. Other possibility could be of uh, a large pleural effusion with underlying mass. Uh, uh, then uh, as if this is a child, uh, I'm thinking on the lines of uh, some congenital malformation, but that is usually cystic. It is completely occupying the lung, so that so, feels less likely. So you are uh, thinking, thinking of a congenital lesion here, like CBAM? Yes, it could be, but it is completely involving the lung. So could it be the complete lung? In my, uh, That appears to be less likely, but uh, could be in the differential, as this is an immature skeleton. Okay, so but, CBAM, what other differential of unilateral opaque hemithorax in a neonate? CBAM, one of the um, accepted. Uh, then uh, it could be because of uh, congenital lobar emphysema, mm -hmm. which is initially opaque, and then it later on gets uh, accepted. Irritated. Also, congenital lobar emphysema, CBAM, and congenital uh, diaphragmatic hernia. The three differential diagnoses immediately after birth if imaged it will be opaque hemithorax but no it's a lateral mediastinal shift you see yes. here this lung is relatively hyper expanded with trans mediastinal retrosternal uh, herniation it means there is a volume loss in this side what are the possible causes of a volume loss in a neonate then it could be because of bronchial uh, bronchial atresia uh, excellent, excellent. Is, uh, One of the possibilities accepted. Mucus blocking, obstruction, or collapse, accepted. Okay, so we put it through uh, CT uh, scan. Yes, she didn't mention the main cause. No <laughs> okay, now this is the trachea. Yes. So oh. I'm provided with the CT scan okay. of this. Okay, Co continue, continue. So I'm provided with the CT scan of the same patient in which I can see that there is a narrowing of the trachea and only the right main stem bronchus is seen. However, I cannot appreciate the left main stem bronchus yeah, and the mediast mediastinum is completely shifted towards the left hemithorax. Okay, and what was, about the uh, pulmonary artery? The pulmonary artery is uh, also enlarged uh, and it is. I can also see the right one, uh, the right pulmonary artery. Okay. Left pulmonary, artery. okay. left pulmonary artery is not visualized. Excellent. Excellent. So, so that, we have a, yes, yes, complete. So that opacification of the left hemithorax was because of the trilateral mediastinal shift and a genesis of the left hemithorax. Diagnosis? Uh, a congenital uh, a genesis uh, of yes, left lung. Yes, yes, yes. It's a genesis of uh, uh, left آه، اوكي دكتورة أروى لو سمحتي ركزي في ال دكتورة كل شوية بيفتح الصوت عندك. I'm sorry my friend. Okay. So uh, let's revise again the possible causes of opaque opaque hemithorax uh, in a neonate. If it's a lateral mediastinal shift it may be lung agenesis. 
it may be collapse collapse due to mucus uh, plugging uh, for example uh, surgical uh, removal in older age group accepted uh, okay uh, or uh, misplaced endotracheal uh, tube let's see the second uh, case this is a uh, one year uh, old child uh, with acute uh, dyspnea and wheeze Okay, I'm presented with the radiograph chest frontal projection of an immature skeleton in which I can see that there is complete opacification of the left hemiparex. Uh, the mediastinal shift towards the left is also appreciated as I cannot uh, outline the cardiac, uh, cardiac markings. And there is expansion of the right hemiparex with retrocardiac extension of the right lung. Uh, in addition to that, the right CT angle is clear. I cannot see any opacification in the right lung and the bones, they show no abnormality. Uh, so for one year of age, complete opacification, it could be because of uh, effusion. Uh, effusion. I, I, uh, I, I'm not happy. Okay. No, because the mediastinal shift is not on the opposite side, so I will not keep that in the difference. Okay. Right. Reliable uh, so, difference. Reliable difference. Remember yeah. what what is seen here? Oh, transmediastinal herniation again. Think yes. also of lung agenesis, but discovered after uh, a while of time. Okay. okay. Or else. Uh, congenital pulmonary uh, CPAM. Congenital uh, pulmonary. No, pulmonary. no, 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 no. CPAM. No. Congenital lupar hyperemphysema. Uh, congenital diaphragmatic uh, hernia will not reach to this. Uh, you see here, uh, ossification, yes, age, ossification centers. This patient is relatively older than you need. Okay. So it could be a foreign Long body. Long but... or foreign body. In this age okay. group specifically, foreign body. Foreign body may present with a complete lung collapse or this pattern. Hyper expansion of the lung with air traffic. Yes. Clinically, by auscultation, reduced uh, air entry on this side. What to do to confirm? Uh, we will do the lateral decubitus with the ipsilateral side on the inferior aspect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. And air trapping if, will be seen. Yes. If an uh, older uh, child who can follow instructions... Then expiratory. Excellent. Expiratory. If younger child cannot follow instructions, uh, instructions then decubitus lie on the affected side. Excellent, Yalos. Back again uh, to uh, this list. Uh, I'm sorry, any other friend want to uh, share? I can uh, present. Okay, okay, I will proceed. Uh, so I'm presented with the frontal chest radiograph of a skeletally, mature, a skeletally immature patient. Uh, I can see homogeneous opacification of the left hemithorax with obscuration of the uh, cardiac margin and the left hemidiaphragm and also the CP angle appears obscured. There are no uh, air bronchograms seen within, and there are no uh, rib destruction, no cavitation seen. There is mass effect with contralateral shift of the trachea and of the mediastinum. Uh, there's an endotracheal tube seen in C2, which is normally sighted. Uh, apart from that, I do not see any other abnormalities. So uh, the possibilities that I can think of would be first a pleural effusion. Excellent. Uh, Secondly, it could be a large mass within the uh, left hemithorax. However, I do not see any erosion of the ribs or any other uh, signs to suggest a uh, mass in the left hemithorax. What is the possibility uh, of a uh, pediatric mass filling the chest? Sorry? What is the possibility or the type of mass uh, filling the pediatric chest? So they could be it could be due to lymphoma or it could be because of Ewing sarcoma or uh, neuropulmonary blastoma. Ewing sarcoma uh, accepted, uh, especially if there is any rib destruction. Uh, neuroplastoma accepted, especially if there is uh, rib uh, widening. Uh, lymphoma is not accepted. Okay. Uh, Bluro, there is another mass specific. Pluropulmonary blastoma. Excellent. Excellent. Pluropulmonary blastoma. Okay, what is the... Uh, rhabdomyosarcoma also, rhabdomyosarcoma. Okay, accept. Uh, what is the possible cause of a congenital uh, pleural effusion? Uh, congenital pleural effusion. It could be because of a cardiac cause, if the patient has any uh, cardiac pathology, it or it could bilateral. be some... 
unilateral would be bilateral so if it's a unilateral thing uh, then maybe some lymphatic malformation excellent uh, excellent congenital chylothorax congenital chylothorax is if resistance okay but if uh, okay. recently noted with infections it may be baronymon excellent yeah was very good mm -hmm. very good okay another uh, case uh, for you this is uh, an inmate with respiratory distress immediately imaged after birth. Okay, so this is an immature skeleton. Uh, with I can I can see that there is uh, some widening in the superior mediastinum, but it could be a thymic shadow. I do not see any compression on the trachea or on uh, the bronchi. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, there is. Uh, some widening of the there's some appear there's an apparent cardiomegaly as well, but uh, I would like to correlate with the patient's ultrasound finding whether this is a enlarged uh, thymus so, or it so is it presents the, the cardiac borders or heart present in normal size or you feel but the cardiac border is not well seen. Uh, but the heart, the heart, normal size or slightly shifted to the right. The heart appears slightly shifted to the right side, uh, but there is also some element of rotation uh, in the radiograph. Okay. Accepted. Respiratory distress. Any possible okay. So patient has respiratory distress, uh, in which case I would be suspecting uh, that there could be an anterior mediastinal mass that is obscuring the cardiac margin. Uh, my possibilities in this uh, patient, this uh, opacity does not have any calcifications or any fat densities within. Uh, and uh, uh, it is not causing any destruction of the underlying ribs. Uh, also, we I image, cannot... We image, uh, this patient has here the finding subtotal opacified left hemithorax with a slight mediastinal yeah. shift to the opposite side. It is not reaching to the lung base, so it's unlikely to be pleural effusion. Okay? No will definition uh, of its inferior margin unlikely to be mass. So we imaged this uh, child after uh, 12 hours. So on after the uh, repeat radiograph shows clearing of the lung on the left side, suggesting that it might have been because of a mucus uh, plug aspiration. After, or... And after 24 hours? So after 24 hours, there is a clearing of bilateral lung. So... Uh, this could have been uh, due to some meconium aspiration if the patient had any history of... Uh, you are suspecting uh, You are suspecting some mucus plugging, okay? Yes. In, in case of a mucus plugging, you are expecting collapse. So, yeah. electoral mediastinal shift. No, it's electoral mediastinal shift. It's contralateral. And here, after uh, some while, also there is the same contralateral shift, but the lungs become more black. With time, it's more black. You see uh, here's a difference in, in lucency and it's volume, uh -huh. volume, uh, volumic uh, lung. So, so what, this could be some, uh, uh, it yes. could be a congenital lobar emphysema. Uh, excellent, excellent. On the left side. Yes. With the it, digital... Excellent. Uh, I mentioned before one of the causes of unilateral opaque hemithorax, the three main surgical differential. Congenital lower emphysema, uh, congenital uh, pulmonary airway malformation, and congenital diaphragmatic hernia. All three diagnoses will present with opaque or nearly opaque uh, hemithorax at term, uh, at uh, the time of delivery. But with time, we can differentiate uh, each other. If this uh, lesion become more hyperlucent, uh, it mainly affected LUL, L U L, left upper loop. It's congenital pulmonary hyperinflation, congenital pulmonary emphysema. Okay, if it is become cystic, it's a CBAM. If it's continuous with the uh, abdomen, with indistinct diaphragm, it would be congenital diaphragmatic hernia. So this uh, diagnosis is congenital lower hyperinflation. Remember, uh, it may present as unilateral opaque hemithorax. Uh, good diapos. Continue the next case. So uh, this is this is the frontal radiograph of a skeletally mature patient. Uh, I can see homogeneous pacification of the left hemithorax uh, with obscuration of the diaphragmatic margin and of the CP angle. There is a uh, mass effect in the form of mediastinal shift, tracheomediastinal shift to the opposite side. 
uh, also I can see some uh, air lucency that is seen over the uh, left side of trachea. It could represent the herniated lung from the opposite side or it could be uh, some mediastinal air containing structure as well. Okay, uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you, uh, I think we have here CT. Oh. So on the CT, I see that this uh, opacification, it is basically caused by a large mass that is filling the entire hemithorax, okay. causing inversion of the diaphragm. Okay, so possibilities would be lymphoma or Ewing sarcoma or... Yes, in young, uh, in young age, we mentioned the uh, differential origin. Okay. Uh, but in uh, in old age group, now another uh, differential will be uh, present. Uh, like this case, this patient, uh, old age, lying on her left side most of the time, even in ICU. Any possibility? So uh, uh, then uh, in case of uh, this there's a homogeneous opacification of the left hemithorax yes. with some air foci seen within uh, the the uh, the left cardiac border and the diaphragmatic shadow as well as the CP angles are not separately visualized uh, and since the patient is lying on the left side uh, and has uh, uh, and appears sick so I would be suspecting uh, that there might be some element of uh, cardiac failure in this patient uh, and this could represent uh, actually unilateral uh, unilateral edema pulmonary. and femoral effusion okay this Total is a case fusion. of uh, the same patient so it's not uh, heart failure it's a uh, liver uh, cell failure with portal hypertension okay but uh, agree with you with this possibility okay uh, what about uh, this case so in this uh, case, uh, in this patient, skeletally mature patient, uh, I can see that there is a homogeneous opacification of the left hemithorax with ipsilateral mediastinal shift, ipsilateral tracheomediastinal shift. Also, there is compensatory overinflation of the right lung with uh, herniation towards the left side. Uh, so the possibilities in this patient uh, could be a, a obstructing lesion at the level of the uh, bronchus causing mm -hmm. collapse of the lung. Good, uh, accepted, apart. accepted, but uh, I don't see uh, any surgical clips. Okay, I can see a surgical clip Oops. that is seen uh, in the yes. paramediastinal location. Uh, uh, that puts a possibility, do... all, almost all puts a possibility of a uh, resected lung, okay, or uh, right. surgical, surgical uh, resection section. Okay, I think. Uh, that's uh, enough for uh, today. I'm sorry, my friends. It was a long uh, session. I hope... Uh, Thank you so much for the...